The second annual Outer Banks Walk Against Addiction was held at First Flight High School in Kill Devil Hills. The walk helps promote education and raise awareness about addiction, and proceeds from the walk are used to educate people about addiction, as well as assist those who need treatment for substance abuse. The keynote speaker for the event, Chris Skinner, addressed the participants, sharing the lessons of his ultimate learning experience with addiction. Addiction affects everyone, and it's true. And it's a painful thing. Still, the number one killer people of, of young people, it's like 12 to 21, number one killer is alcohol and drugs. You can't turn back time. That's why it's so important that you make every single choice like it could be your last, because it could. Denise Kozer also addressed the crowd, bowing to fight the disease of addiction. As long as there's a breath in my body, I will continue to fight this dreaded disease. The event was organized by Kozer and Brenda Thacker. Both women have extensive personal experience with addiction issues and a strong determination to raise awareness about the disease. The first annual walk was last year and it started, I was at an Al-Anon meeting and one of the people in the group was saying, you know, this is a disease, um, it's nothing to be ashamed of, um, people who have cancer have Relay for Life, you know, for awareness, um, Down syndrome has a buddy walk and we don't have anything. So that's when I went, well, I'm going to do it. Where, when you raise the money, how do you use that money to help people it against addiction? It goes for literature, for knowledge. It also, last year, um, I purchased four bikes that went to people in Hatteras so they could get back and forth to treatment. I also paid for two people to go to detox from the beach. Because when you get to the point where you finally want help, pretty much, is, pretty much everybody's given up on you. Nobody wants anything to do with you. Treatment can range from like 6,500 to 35,000 and up, you know, depending on which facility you go to. You want to try to pick something that's small and private so you're getting personalized attention. Something that has a family component to it and individual counseling. Like cancer is a disease, you go to the doctor um, and they get help and they have sympathy. And people who have the disease of addiction, they're drunks, they're crackheads. They're not, they're really sick people. And I think before you can get treatment, you've got to be willing to admit that you're sick with the disease and then be willing to ask for help without thinking, I'm going to be known as, as a drunk or, or, you know, an addict or a nothing, a low life. Because I think when you get to that point, you already think of yourself that way. And it just reaffirms, the stigma now reaffirms what the addict already thinks about themselves. At the second annual Walk Against Addiction, I'm Teuta Shabani Taylor with the Outer Banks Voice.